Right guys, I'm doing some gaming on the Steam Deck. I did play, just play uh, Fallout 84. But now, uh, I played War Robots Fallout 84. The next game is going to be War Robots Frontiers. And this is the game I'm going to be playing. I'm going to properties. I just want to see what the controller says. Enable Steam input, fine, whatever. I'm going to play the game. This is directly on Steam Deck. I'm not streaming this game. Uh, the top games that I like playing, my top games, War Robots, War Robots Frontiers, the second. First game, War Robots, second game, War Robots Frontiers, the game that I'm playing now. Uh, my top games that I like playing on Steam Deck. War Robots, the first one. War Robots Frontiers, the second game. The third game would be Call of Duty 3 Modern Warfare. I can't think of another game. Oh, yeah. The fourth game, but it's not a game on Steam Deck. It's a cloud game, Fortnite. So those are the only games I like playing on Steam Deck. I mean, it's just me. I'm not into platform games. I'm not into RPGs, you know. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm a multiplayer, strictly multiplayer type person, right? The last time I played this on my Steam Deck, last time I played this on the Steam Deck, um... Ah, come on, let me get in settings. Last time I played this, sorry, on my laptop, I played this on Extreme. Right, it's gone back to medium. You can see it's running on Steam Deck just by that AMD software thing. Because if it was running on my laptop, it wouldn't be saying that. Mine has an NVIDIA graphics card, not AMD. So all this is medium. All the graphics settings medium. Uh, upscaling is FSR2. And then FSR2 mode is performance and sharpness is 100% and uh, the other thing I said is to go into controls and where it says mouse sensitivity you need to set this to 1% because if it's not set to 1% it's gonna be very difficult for you to play um, on the you know to play the game it's gonna be very hard to control the aiming it's your choice basically you, you guys can do what you feel like but I'm just trying to give advice go in Go in the controls, go to mouse sensitivity, and you just use your mouse, you know, like to drag, just drag across like this, and it'll go from seven to z to one. You need it at one, so you can aim properly. Otherwise, your aiming is gonna be all over the place, and you're gonna hate the game and think the game's bad. It's not a bad game, it's just you need to change the control sensitivity, that's it. That's all, con change it to one, and you'll enjoy the game, like I'm playing it now. The good thing is it remembers that I played it last time, so it's not asking me to do anything. Right, come on, where's my robot? I haven't even loaded in. Oh man. How does he can actually move around on this? I didn't know you could do this. That's quite cool. Oh wait, my robot is out there. I was wondering, I was like, how come? No, 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 I don't want to go to that stuff. Oh, boy. Uh, this robot is a Fury robot. <laughs> ah, it's a Fury robot. Let's see what this is. What are we doing? Oh, beacons. Okay, it's beacon rush. Uh, the Fury robot, this one's got... Let me check. Uh, it's got two all cans, it's got two vortex, and it's got a gozer. The gozer is a laser weapon. And um, I'm just thrusting there. The, the all cans do not need a target in front of them to fire, you can just fire them. But the all cans do require something to fire on. Right. Um, with this game, I'm gonna play for a while long before I even decide to stop playing this. Like I said, it is one of my favorite games on uh, Steam Deck. Or oh, even on my laptop. Wow, that guy is roasting me. Oh, damn! What the hell? What? Okay, he, okay he's got rail guns on him. Right, my next robot is a, ra a raven. It's got two rampants. Rampants are uh, grenades. Uh, grenade launches and it's got two Okan. Okan uh, rockets. The Raven does have its own abilities. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, you see the buttons at the bottom keep going crazy. 
I think I need to change what I'm using. I'm actually on default. I can't I can't even aim like zoom in to aim. Who's who's attacking me? Oh wait, wait, he's behind me, he's behind me. Oh my wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Damn, did you see that? He came from behind. I didn't see that. I didn't see that. I was like, what's going on here? Right, I need to change my um if I'm doing this, it's just so I can change my default. Uh let's see. I'm going I want to use actually oh come on oh wow damn it man right oh wow no wow no why is it refusing for me to bring it up right this is what i'm using that's ds4 windows I'm gonna use a different profile let's see if this profile works those are just different profiles now nah, it's not letting me use my um I can still thrust and jump. I destroyed this robot. Right, right, right. You know, you know the thing is. I need to find a profile that works because this is not good uh, good situation for me. Where's my mouse? Oh, come on, man. I just want this. Okay, so let me select this one, PS5. These, these are just profiles that I've got set on DS4 Windows. So it's like DSX. Now it's not letting me... So I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. What if... Wait. You know what I'm thinking? There is one profile I could use. I'm curious. Let me let me try this profile. Let me try. I'm gonna try. I hope my robot doesn't get hit. I'm gonna try Xbox. So this is Xbox. Let's see. Can I zoom in? Oh damn! <laughs> ah, that's crazy. My entire system is just shut down. <laughs> Because I was changing profiles. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Okay, so the Steam Deck has has uh, gone blue screened on me. Uh, that's sad. I wasn't doing anything, you know. That's uh, that's a bit crazy, right? So I have to wait for it to reload. And uh, that's 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 so weird, man. Uh, it's you won't see it, but on the other monitors, it is showing the logo. Uh, so if I just loosen this a little bit and show you guys, there you go. That's one of my monitors, and that's the other now monitor. To Geo Trans. And there you go. So it 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 is it is working. It, it didn't have a, a technic. It's a technicality. It's a technical issue. Right. That that was weird because it's never done that before. Right, let me use my mouse. It's just gonna be quicker for me to log in. Right, uh, I right. Let me just sign in. Oh wow, well, I think I typed it too quickly. Come on. Right, I'm using an external keyboard. If you're wondering, got an external keyboard. That's uh, you see that little thing that at the back there's a hub. So there's um, it's connected to a mouse. A physical mouse and a, a, a mechanical keyboard so if you're wondering what I'm clicking clicking on that's what I'm doing right so this is called AMD power control panel uh, I, I just sort of starting this one up first uh, I'm gonna go to 49 watts let's see why does it say two cores that's why I, I don't understand about this thing last time I came in here I changed this uh, battery values Okay, I'm gonna put four. It's only because it it doesn't put four when I when I put it. And I'm gonna save it. It's saved. I'm gonna go back to status, and then I'm gonna select it again, and see if it says four. You see, it goes to three. I don't know why it, it doesn't go to four cores. You know, and it's saying maximum process is five thousand, but I didn't set it at five thousand. Right. Uh, that's AMD power control panel. 
So I've had to, uh, well, I didn't, I didn't restart the Steam Deck. It restarted on its own, right? So I'm just gonna um, get some programs running, right? I'm gonna start up this AMD. That's adrenaline. Uh, that's doing its thing. Then I'm going to get. I use this only to look at the FPS counter that I've got. Now uh, let's go to home. It's not even showing Farlight. I did play Farlight before. Right, so this one will actually say AMD Radeon RX 670 graphics. And uh, yeah, okay, let me just jump out of this one because that's not the one I need right now. This one is for resolution. Man, I wish this didn't happen this way. I don't know what's wrong with my mouse, man. It's like it's not it's not gripping on things you know like you have to e even if you press on this on the thing that you want to drag and move it's like it's not really clipping on it right the next thing i need is the mobility center for whatever reason that's opened up on my other you see this is weird everything is opening up on different levels uh different places um why do i need this open because when you use a dual sense controller on your pc i think everyone knows this for some reason, it thinks you're using a speaker. I need to grab mobility centers on my other monitor. It's, I don't know, it's weird because it thinks you're using a speaker or something. It doesn't recognize it as a gamepad. I mean, it does, but it's, it's kind of, that's mobility center if you're wondering. It, 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 it makes the DualSense controller uh, the, the speaker. So I like to have this mobility center open so that when it's doing that weird stuff, and then I want to interact on it, then I can change a few things. But I'm going to get Omen Gaming Hub because I know when the Steam Deck restarted, it's going to crash the game. <clears throat> I don't want you guys thinking that this, that this can't play War of the Frontier. It can. I think the problem is I kept doing what I was doing and I think the game itself may have crashed. And when that crashes, it could also have caused the blue screen on Steam Deck itself, you see. So I was trying to get the gamepad to work and for whatever reason, it just wouldn't work the way I wanted it to work. So, you know, it, it happens, right? Steam will be the last thing I start up only because if I start it up now, it's going to cause a few issues. I'm going to close. Oh yeah, I don't need this running. What's this thing? Ah, can't even see what I'm doing with this thing. How do I close this? Okay, there you go. I'm going to clean my RAM. Please, I'm gonna close MSI Afterburner. The only reason, oh yeah, you know what? I think I've got that open as well. Maybe that's what caused the issue. Um, I'm going to exit out of CC Cleaner. I don't need it. Right, so all this is done. I don't need Omen now. It's uh, done its job. I wanna open up this one. <laughs> this is like my overclocking utility that I use on Steam Deck. I, I've spoken about this one a lot. It's my power plan. That's what I use. Right. Let me drag this to the other monitor. So if you don't see anything on this monitor, it's not like it's not there. It's because I'm dragging it to another screen. I'll actually show you quickly, right? Let me go to settings. System. Uh, let me go to display. See? Steam Deck is number one. So if I say identify, see? Steam Deck. The other one, this one is uh, Acer. Wait, let me see. Yeah, that's the Acer monitor. It's just a, a normal Acer flat screen 24 inch monitor. That's uh, It's connected to Steam Deck. The two, the, the second one is actually the AOC gaming monitor, 144 Hertz. And that's also connected to the, to the hub uh, HDMI. So the middle one is Steam Deck. So I'm extending the display. I'm no longer duplicating. One thing I noticed about duplicating, sometimes that can mess games up because it, instead of playing on the Steam Deck, it will put it on Acer or the AOC Gaming Monitor, which I don't like. So I choose to extend desktop to this display. You see, so the main display is Steam Deck. That's why I keep saying that's the one I'm using. Right. Um, trying to think of what else I need. Uh, all right. So the only thing now is to open this dude up. Right. So this one... I do need this actually to be here. This is called DS for Windows. I don't know why it, it just won't allow my gamepad to work properly in uh, War Robots. That, that's so weird. 
Like it just won't let me do what I want to do. Right, so this is my other, this is like, um, actually, you know what I'm going to do? Let me put this down first. Let me put this away. I think if I keep putting this on the other screen, on the Steam Deck screen, it's just going to cause issues. I know that if I, if I want to go to that, it's easier for me just to, you know, to put the Windows key and then go to it. I want to see what this is saying. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, uh, what else is it saying? Resolution 1280 by 800, 60 hertz, display scaling, uh, FPS limit. Okay, TDP is 10 watts. Uh, this one can actually go to 50, right? I'm going to put this to 50. I don't know what EPP is. I'm gonna leave that alone. I don't know what that is. Active cores, I want four cores. GPU clock, right, is, I'm gonna put this to the highest. And let me go to settings. And in settings, theme is dark, accent color is green, application right, language is English, enable notifications. Uh, auto check for updates, I've turned that off. Auto start fan control. Maximum GPU, uh, minimum TDP is 10 watts, maximum it's saying 50. This can actually go up to 80, I think. See, 85. So I want this at 50. I'll say f uh, 49, so it matches the other one. Uh, maximum at 40 FPS. I'm gonna try to put this, no, it won't go up to 200. I'm gonna put like um, 45. Uh, sync games uh, oh, I don't know what all this other stuff is but I'm going to put this away right, I'm now going to activate Steam because if I if I had tried to open up Steam, it's going to most likely uh, block me from what I'm, well it doesn't block you it just slows down the process I like to open up Steam as the last uh, program because you know it, it does take control over the Steam Deck for a few seconds before it gives you back your control, right? So I was actually playing War Robots uh, Frontiers. So just to show you guys that my Steam Deck's still working, nothing wrong with it. When I jump in here, it's fine. If it doesn't want me to use my DualSense, there's nothing I can do. It's like it wants Xbox. I don't know what's up with these games. That's how they, they, they are these days. So I'm just going to do what it wants me to do. Let me put this, minimize that. No, I don't want this. And uh, the game, you see, it's got its. You need to launch it from Steam, but it has its own launcher, and then it launches out like this. This game is not streaming from my laptop. This is playing directly on Steam Deck. And I think you notice when it blue screened, that's just to show you that it is running on Steam Deck. Why blue screened? I, I've got. I have my own theories on that. I, I don't. I don't think the theories will all be the same. But my theory could be the, the way I kept messy, um, playing around with, um, with the controls, trying to change the, the controls may have made the game to crash. As the game was crashing, maybe that just forced, uh, forced my um, Steam Deck to restart. Because remember, it was working perfectly. Right? I'm just using the physical mouse because it's easier for me to control what's going on on the screen. There's a physical mouse, it's a Giro. It's a hero, it's a Logitech. It's a Logitech G5502 Hero. It's a gaming mouse. Right, sorry, I, I zoomed in on the mouse. I zoomed in on the mouse, so I am I am playing this with the DualSense controller, right? That is the DualSense controller right there. I hope this time it allows me to play with it because I don't know why it was you know, it's just messing around with everything. Right, I'm gonna let the robot load. In the beginning, I did tell you guys that with this game, it, it does, it's kind of weird in the beginning. There's a little bit of lag when the first robot is coming through. But after, after the, the lag, the, you know, you see, it's just a little bit laggy in the beginning. But all you've got to do is just ignore that. And um, your, Just ignore it, and uh, the first time it's a bit weird, and then the rest, the rest of the time now, when your robots are coming out, you won't have the same issue, right? Uh, this is a Fury robot, and I've got 
two vortex those are missiles uh they do not need targeting what's wrong with this guy what's the problem i'm not on the same team here he's, he's attacking me I'm like, what's your problem hey, mr weirdo right uh the vortex uh do require a target but the missiles are hit seeking right anyway i'm just gonna play this game uh, the controls for some reason, like I said, I, I have tried uh, the PlayStation 5, um, the, the DualSense controls, and for whatever reason, they're not working. I have tried the Xbox controls, they're not working. I don't know what's going on with this. Um, I, know, I know you're probably thinking, but the game's playing. I know the game's playing, but it's not, it's not letting me do... Um, right, so basically what I mean is uh, I know you, you see me co playing the game, yes? Down here, if you notice down here, look what's happening You see that? That's what I'm talking about That, that, that weird, when I'm moving my joystick for some reason It's acting weird when I press buttons, it's acting weird, you see? Everything's working except for that weird glitch thing there. So when I'm saying it's not working properly, I'm talking about the glitch. That glitch in there, you see there? You see down here, there's a glitch in. It keeps, it keeps changing, that's what's annoying me. So because of that, look, I can't, I can't zoom in. You see what I mean? So it's like... Maybe the game, this game does have its own controls, you understand? It's got its own... Um, controls for the game and obviously it has its own controls for the game this game has its own controls for the game wait wait wait, wait. is this an enemy oh so what, what's this dude doing I don't understand this dude that's the second time he's attacked me now and we were still on we are on the same team I'm like, are you mad? Are you crazy? What's going on with this guy? That's the second time he's done that. Oh, damn. Right, so what I'm talking about basically is the fact that I can't zoom in, right? Zooming in is not everything, it's not the full thing, but it does help you to destroy a robot, you know? If you can zoom in, then obviously I'm going to get the shots in, aren't I? I'm going to get more direct hits, but if I can't zoom in, then it's just me guessing, like, guess what? Like, am I hitting that robot? Am I causing enough damage to that robot? You see, that's why I'm having to go closer to the robots, which I don't like because you don't know how many robots they are like there were two of them and the other dude noticed that I was attacking his partner obviously and if he's got better weapons than me then I'm, I'm a sitting duck because I can't zoom in I can't see, see what he's packing you know what he's got on his robot but they can see what I've got so obviously if they think, ah oh, alright you've got several weapons but your robot is a fury and it's quite slow at moving then these guys can attack you because it's gonna take you a while to run away. You know what I mean? Oh wait, what the hell? Come on, just die. Let, let me get a kill. Oh my god, he's got shredders on him. Don't kill me! Don't kill me! What's wrong with you? What's your problem? <laughs> he's trying to assassinate me. Yes! Nice one trying to assassinate me I mean that's the name of the game I've got um, what's that thing called I forget what it's called uh, the healing thing uh, the rampants are the weapons on the top of the robot those are grenade launchers and I think those are Volk uh, yeah Orcans I've got two Orcans those are rocket launchers the game is working except this oh wait I can now zoom in all right 
Oh wow, no. <laughs> Oh wow, that was crazy! Damn. Right. Um, I'll give you a tip. I'm gonna give you a tip. If if you want to get your Titan early, you need to get three kills. Oh wow, they got a Titan already. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> and it depends with what Titan they get as well. If they got an Alpha, that's bad news because that thing can destroy an entire group. If you're sitting ducks, especially if you're a group that likes to play together and you like to be in a circle together, all you need to do is target one of the robots and you're all dead. That's the problem with Alpha. You can target one robot as long as you're sitting there and thinking, oh, we're pals, we're friends, let's not bother ourselves, and then it will strike everybody. Yeah, that's an Alpha. You see, I knew that was an Alpha. All right, let me see. You, you know, you know what I'm realizing. You know what I'm realizing actually. I'm realizing something that it may not be. something I realized something something's going on with them the, the with the Jolson's controller and with my uh, with my um, sorry I just realized something I'm noticing that that the, the I'm noticing that my mouse is active on the other monitor yeah I'm serious like my my right thumbstick is actually active on the other monitor which is um right now it's not active okay that was crazy that i didn't understand that okay because i think my mouse had gone out for a uh, for a while right um so basically right yeah you see it's not working again <laughs> ah, right okay it's fine it it doesn't matter it's just it's just weird there's something going on with with my controls and um, with um, I don't know I don't know how to explain it I think when the when the mouse was free on another monitor suddenly I noticed that um, my gamepad was working properly so I'm wondering if the if the mouse is actually causing the problem you know, I mean my, my physical mouse I'm talking about the physical mouse because I'm wondering if it's causing an issue Right on this robot I've got a lighter I've got... Oh, that guy's got all cans on him Oh wow, oh damn damn, I'm being targeted here Oh wow, why can't this just be a fair match? Oh damn Oh, I took him out! Oh damn! Wow, I'm surprised. I got my Titan early. Nice one. I've got an Alpha. I don't like using the others. Uh, the, the the other good ro Titan you could use is actually you could use um, you know the one with the spinning head, the head that spins round and round. That that Titan is badass. If you use that one, you can kill a lot of robots and even a Titan, especially if that Titan cannot run away from you. You can kill it so quickly. Oh, we won. Nice one. That's good. And I got my Alpha Titan. <laughs> That's crazy. Right. So, like I said, I think there's this conflict between uh, this dude here and uh, between this dude here. This this dude here. There's conflict going on. Because, like I said, when, when the mouse was on a separate screen, suddenly I found that uh, my DualSense controller was working properly. 
So I may be right about uh, what I said before, that there's conflict, there's something going on between the mouse and the DualSense controller. So it might not, it might not be a, a game problem. I don't think it's a game issue. I think it's a, it's like the game trying to decide between the mouse and keyboard that's attached to the hub of the Steam Deck versus the DualShock controller, which is kind of crazy. I've never seen a game that does that, you know? Because when you're using an emulator, especially the emulator I'm using DS4 Windows, that's, that um, has programs for Xbox and PlayStation, DualSense, right? It's like DSX, the one you buy on Steam for $4. But then I don't understand it like when a game is actually... It's like the game doesn't know what you want to use. Do you want to use your mouse? Are you using the, 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 um, the DualSense? Or maybe, you know what I think is happening? I think it's because when I do, do this with the mouse, it then it then changes to mouse you know like when you play call of duty 3 modern warfare and then when you're using the mouse sometimes and then you disconnect your um, for example like maybe i want to check my change my profile so i have to disconnect the my um my controller you know and then when, when it recognizes you got a mouse it changes to mouse and keyboard and then you have to actually exit the game because it will not change to gamepad you need to exit the the game no, sorry, exit the match. Sorry, I don't know why I said game. Exit the match, go back to the lobby, go into your settings again, go to controller and change it from uh, keyboard and mouse back to controller. Then it will recognize your DualSense controller or your Xbox controller. That's the only way you can do it with Call of Duty 3. So that's why I realized that maybe that's what's happening with War Robots. The fact that you're using both things, you know, you're using the keyboard, you're using the mouse, then you're going back to the game pad, uh, get, um, to juices. I think that's what's going on. It's just my take on it. I don't know if, if I'm accurate. Right, that was War Robots Frontiers. I played that on medium. Like I told you, sharpness is 100%. I use AMD FSR 2 and I use performance as the mode for FSR uh, is mode is uh, performance. The other thing I can say is um, on the top of the settings, is the, f the first one is graphics. Then I don't know what the, what the second one is. You need to... Uh, click on controls and then it's a mouse sensitivity you need to bring it down from seven but down to one then you'll be able to aim properly in the game the reason why i'm not able to aim in the game like i said i think it might be an issue just because the game doesn't know what i'm using between the mouse keyboard and dual sense you understand so it's not the the game fault if i play it on my laptop that that doesn't exist i don't know why it's it's different on the laptop because the laptop's got the keyboard mouse thing built into it so maybe when it's it sees the the gamepad it just knows that okay you're using a gamepad i don't know why it does uh, it, it this just happens on the steam deck but if i play this on the laptop the, that that issue doesn't come there you understand what i'm saying it does not exist on my laptop my laptop doesn't have an issue with that that problem but i'm it's not a problem i'm i'm saying the game works just play it on medium sharpness 100 percent and um, the, the um, upscaling should be set to AMD FSR 2. The FSR mode should be set to performance. And then in the settings as well, like I said, the first, second, third option is um, that one is called controls. Click on controls, go to mouse sensitivity, draw it, um, bring it down with your mouse, you know, like pull it, um, you can use your click, just bring it down from seven to one and then uh, play the game. And you won't have any issues. Um, if you play it on low, the, game, the graphics don't look so good. So medium really is uh, the best for visuals, especially if you're, if, you're, if you're recording this for people, just play it on medium. You want to play this on high uh, or epic? Epic, I say no. Don't put it on epic. On high, you can put it on high, but you're going to get less uh, FPS frames. So my suggestion would be it is a whole lot better just to go with... Um, I would say the best option is just play it on medium. I have played it on high, but I just didn't see a point. So there you go. I uh, got 50.6 FPS uh, for um, War Robots Frontiers. Uh, War Robots itself is not giving me any FPS on that one. I don't know why, but it's not giving me any count on that one. So that's a bit weird. Uh, but uh, on Frontiers, it's saying 50. I got 50 FPS on that one. So that's 50 is not bad and that's on medium so that means the game is working properly right so that's adrenaline center if you're wondering that's all adrenaline 
I can go into this one. Let me see. Let me go to performance. All the clocks in here are working. I know. I know most people will think this doesn't work. All that stuff works for me. I don't know about most people, but for myself, I don't have any issues. See, I've got everything clicked on. Everything's there. I've got the FPS counter. I've got the GPU counter. I've got the GPU memory, CPU memory, and system memory. It's all there. And I also have some sampling interval, which is mine is set to 1.75. And this is, uh, I think there's an overlay here as well. I just don't use this one. Show, um, what's this one? Matrix overlay. I, I, I think what happens with this one is that um, it's set somewhere else. It's on somewhere else. And then in here, it turns itself off. You understand what I mean? In the menus, it's, it's on somewhere in my menu. It's actually on. But in this one, it just turns itself off. I don't know why. Um, then the next one here says show graphs and uh, meters. I turned that on. It says location top right. It says size is there. It says 100, I think. Uh, yeah, it says 100. Then columns, it says one. I think you can add more columns if you want to transparency. It says 30. And then it says text color is white. So all those options are there. They're all working. Uh, this one is GPU memory. You can see it's saying 687 megahertz. It's saying 479 megabytes. Uh, system memory is 4.7 gigabytes. It's saying uh, CPU, uh, AMD custom APU 0405. It's saying utilization is 8 to 9 percent. And then here it's saying GPU, AMD, Radeon RX 670 graphics. Uh, utilization, it's not showing anything zero and temperature is zero i think these ones don't work the way they're supposed to and you you do know why this is like this on steam deck was the drivers are modified so that's why that does not function but everything else something interval here is working uh let's see here all right what is this one matrix overlay during login right um this one is to create uh this is when you can jump into a game and change the graphic settings these are all the games I've got on my Steam Deck right now. It's a lot. If I go to graphics, I use custom. I'm using Radeon Chill is enabled. Minimum FPS is 59. Maximum FPS is 60. Radeon image sharpening is enabled. Sharpness is set to 20%. Uh, wait for vertical refresh is on unless application specifies. I click on advanced. Uh, anti anti aliasing user application settings, uh, a anti aliasing method multi sampling, morphic uh, anti aliasing is enabled, anti strophic filtering is enabled, and uh, anti strophic filtering level is ty sixteen times. They said to maximize that uh, for the better performance. Right, its texture filtering quality is set to performance. Uh, surface format optimization is enabled. Tesselization mode is AMD optimized. Uh, OpenGL triple buffering is disabled. You you must disable that because it will mess up the games. The games won't work properly. Uh, Ten bit um, pixel format. You could have that enabled if you want to, but mine is disabled. I mean, you could enable if you want to, but mine is disabled. Uh, reset shader catch like I said don't touch that if you play in Call of Duty 3 Modern Warfare do not do that I know it, it sounds like a good idea uh, it sounds like a good idea but you have to remember something every time you're playing a game on Steam Deck it, it downloads shaders especially for Call of Duty so once I click on this and I try and play Call of Duty 3 it's gonna the game's gonna look um, it's not gonna play properly you understand it always needs to download the shaders I would suggest just just hold yourself. Don't play around with this uh, shader recatch thing. Just don't reset it. Just leave it alone. Uh, the next thing is direct GMA. Mine is enabled. Aperture size is 128. And it says plat platform compatibility is group A. Right. I'm going to go to display. Mine has got uh, GPU scaling is enabled. Scaling mode is preserve aspect ratio. Uh, uh, very bright. I think this is for brightness is enabled, and mine is set to uh, balanced. Um, my also my display color enhancement is vivid gaming, and if I go to display two, it's the same thing. Vivid gaming. 
and if I go to display three, uh, the same thing, uh, vivid gaming. Why vivid gaming? Uh, because the vivid gaming itself is what gives you those uh, darker colors, you know, like the brighter or darker colors, you understand? Your, your game's just gonna look a whole lot nicer. I wonder if this is zoomed in, like maybe the textures, uh, well, sometimes this, right, I, I hope you guys are getting this, but anyway, you, you can hear what I'm saying. Uh, so that, that I've shown you, display, graphics, applications, those are the games. Graphics is how things are set. I already talked about that. Display, I told you, is vivid gaming. Uh, all this other stuff, like GPU scaling stuff, this is what this thing that can do already. Uh, the displays are set differently based on what they can do. Um, so every display you may have in your house or connected, you know, like in your house or connected to your Steam Deck would be different from mine. Maybe yours are more powerful than mine. I don't know. Uh, yours could um, actually have that AMD... Uh, stuff um, supported and all that free sync stuff mine uh, not all of my monitors support those things so i'm not stressing the steam deck over that i'm just saying um so you know it's just different like that isn't it like i said every monitor is different so it just depends on what your monitor supports right uh so this is the main hub thing it does say amd uh, link uh, status not connected so you know you can download the app on your phone on your iphone or android and then you can link it up to the amd so they'll be linked together i i think it will give you just uh like information about fps and stuff like that it's there it's in the play store there is an amd app so there it's actually saying it you can see it's got the logo for the phone so that actually works it's not just there for um you know for entertainment it actually does something so like i said if you download the app on your phone you have to link it here and then it would have information been sent to your phone so it would have been saying uh, the name of the phone or something like that linked to your phone or something and then obviously you you'd go on your phone and go da, 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 you know tap on it go into the amd app open it and then you can see the fps you can see all the games you've been playing all that stuff these things are not active because i disabled them they said it's not good to have advertising enabled or the website this does have a website up there it will it can add a website to it and these these ads can be moving why they said not to enable them i i don't know it's it's a mixed bag they say it's using resources you know they they always talk about this resources thing so they're always saying don't use it because it's just eating up resources so that's why i don't have it uh showing advertising it's there in the tray see it's right there md uh, uh, AMD Software Adrenaline Edition so it's there, it's running and if I click on it like this you can actually see this profiles and things it does say open AMD Software Adrenaline Edition uh, video profile you can actually say it's set to vivid and then it's got start AMD uh, audio noise suppression uh, yeah right okay and if I want to show you the other one if I left click look there it is it's right there AMD Software Adrenaline edition. It's there. And I told you guys how you get that onto your Steam Deck. You need to actually you download the software for your uh the graphics driver for your Steam Deck, the modded ones, and then you need to go into the MD software and download it. It sounds a bit weird, but you need to download again the um, you, you need to download again the sorry, I just wanna minimize this uh thing is irritating me a bit. This <laughs> I don't know, it's just changed the shape. I, I'm talking about task managers running on my other screen. So it looks a bit weird. Like why why did it all go? Um it's not it's not its normal shape. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um right, so now I've forgotten what I was talking about. <laughs> that took my mind uh, mind away. Right, you know you know what? Actually, let, let me show you guys this um in this video. I, I'll try my best to shrink it. It's because it's I've made it so wide, but I'm gonna make it as small as possible, just to show you guys what I'm looking at on the other screen. See there? What does that say? AMD Radeon RX 670 graphics. That's the GPU. That's what I'm looking at on the other monitor. So for people who say ah, it's not uh, RX, it does say so. It says it. Um, what you do is you download the model driver, and then you need to go to AMD and you download an actual software install it onto the steam deck but you don't 
you know it will it will download and install its uh, folders or files then what you need to do is you don't install that driver you just need to go into its files and look for a program called CC triple C2 and that's the one that gives you the um, that uh, it will give you this the, that's how you get your adrenaline edition working on your Steam Deck uh, if you've got modded drivers if you do download the driver direct from Valve Web's website, then you don't worry about that. The Adrenaline Edition will be on the Steam Deck. But if you want something like mine, you need to download the modded driver, then download a, 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 another original driver from AMD directly. And when it's unpacking its files into the Steam Deck, it's that, far, it's that folder you need to go into. So I don't know what, WinRAR these days is not running, maybe got 7-zip, because they're, they're shutting down those programs. But if you do, I have it already on my laptop and Steam Deck. They're already there. I've had those for a long time. And I've got 7-Zip as well. So all you need to do is you just unpack the, the folder. It will unpack it uh, on its own. As soon as you download it onto your Steam Deck, you just click on it to install it, right? So it will install as if it's putting the, pr the stuff into your Steam Deck. But it's still got an .exe file that you need to execute, isn't it? So you don't want to execute the original. You just want to find the triple C2 file. And you, when you get that file, it's it's on its own, like it's um, it's like a file with other files. It's just written triple C2. And you double click on that, it will install. Then you need to like restart your Steam Deck just to make sure. Uh, or you restart uh, AMD Adrenaline uh, software. And you'll find when well, next time when you left click, it should be like this. If it's still not working, then you need to re reboot, I mean restart your Steam Deck. And then if, when you restart it, then left click, that should now have changed like this. Then you know your adrenaline uh, software is working properly. If that doesn't show up, that means it's, it's not going to work properly for you. Because if you left click on this and you don't see the AMD software adrenaline edition there, it's not gonna work properly. That's all I can say, it won't work properly. Right, so that was War Robots Frontiers, medium uh, settings, sharpness 100%, uh, AMD FSR 2, AMD, mo uh, sorry, FSR mode is performance, and then you need to go to controls uh, and mouse sensitivity, and uh, from seven to one, and then your aiming will be good in the game. The game works really well on Steam Deck. Uh, 